Alright, this is going to be a quick guide on how to get the Royal Crossbow brandished and completed and the Queen Black Dragon easily. If you've been looking at the equipment and the inventory I used for this, I also used the Pack Yak full of sharks. So it's not exactly an expensive setup, it's just a matter of brute forcing this with just a bunch of food. So, when you come in to the Queen Black Dragon Lair, she's going to be taking a nap. You'll want to drink your super anti-fire, which I use in this. Otherwise, you would want an anti-fire shield and an anti-fire potion. Otherwise, just drink a prayer renewal. In my case, filled my prayer up. I'm using Protect Range and Rygar. And at that point, you just basically stand there towards the middle somewhere and just start attacking her. A good combination of this is just always using your main attack. It's the one on my slot. I cannot remember the name of it and alternating other basic abilities until you get up over the 50% mark. Then start throwing in your threshold abilities. Rapid Fire is specifically good. I interrupt it like five or six times in this video. It'll channel for three, four seconds or so and shoot a whole bunch of arrows. Otherwise, here you can see, you know, there's a firewall, you can run over and stand in the gap if you so choose, or you can just stay still, and after you eat, use an ultimate, eat, if you have zero adrenaline when you eat, you don't lose adrenaline, whereas if you have adrenaline, you lose, I think it's 10% per piece of food you eat. Here, the firewall is directly next to me, so... This is the spot you should really stand in all the time, because it's directly next to the pedestal in the middle. It's easy to see where it is. And also, this is where the first crystal is going to spawn in a moment. When the Queen Black Dragon's health is almost low, you want to be as close as possible to the pedestal. And the second it ticks over, and she takes that last hit, it's going to light up. You click it, and you move on to phase two. And here it's just a matter of doing the same thing as last time. Just using those abilities as they come up. Just waiting on the cooldown for incendiary, incendiary arrow to fire that and hit her for that big uh, 5,000 damage chunk. You don't have to strictly kill the um, spirit she summons. It does make it a little easier. She can absorb the health of them, but you can possibly ignore them. Early on, there's only like one or two of them, so it, they're quick enough to kill. I think the same thing, you know, just avoid the fire. Or rather, avoid the fire. Stand in the fire and eat up after it passes through you. Like right there, I used an ultimate, and then I ate up when I had no adrenaline, so it didn't really cost me anything. Otherwise, again, just keep spamming on abil your abilities. Just on and on and on until she is about to die again. Right about as she's... When she's getting really low in health, you'll want to move towards the next crystal. It's on the southwest corner of the area, so you do not want to stand on the white, magic-y looking platform. You'll take a good chunk of damage if you're standing on it for too long. I went over there at that point thinking I had gotten the damage in. Unfortunately, I missed it. And wasn't quite ready yet, so I ran over then. And, you know, I was walking through the wall fire, but not a huge deal. Just gonna eat up as soon as I kill that grout worm. I ended up losing a bunch of adrenaline here just because I had a bunch and I had to spam some food, but just moving back to that center spot to avoid at least one wall of flame most of the time. And I'm going to finish clearing the field of everything but the Queen Black, Dra Black Dragon. Realistically, like right here, she starts draining the spirits, so I don't have to attack them at all. She'll She's a full health already, so it's not really affecting me in the slightest. So I can just wait that out and build adrenaline on the, on the Queen Black Dragon in the meantime by just spamming abilities on her as she heals. You might potentially be able to out-damage the healing on waves 1 through 3, or 1 and 2 rather. And like I said, just again here, just 
keep spamming abilities. I'm still, I believe, on the initial inventory of, sh of sharks I brought with me. Haven't pulled anything out from the pack yet. And again, right there, I should have eaten before uh, starting to build adrenaline again. And phase two, so there's three walls of fire, so there's a bit more to do. Or a bit more to eat in between. I made sure to set my left click follower option to take from Beast of Burden, and I just kind of ignored it. And I, I want to say I decided to just try and kill, end the phase here, but I think I changed to the spear, or the uh, souls rather, to try and take them out. Yeah, I do. And then right after that, it's back on the Queen Black Dragon, yet again. And she's getting quite low again, so this time the crystals on the south east, I might have said southwest last time, but wherever it is. Again, you, you don't want to stand on the platform. I ran out of prayer. I wasn't really paying attention to that. My anti-fire is about to run out, so I repotted, just popping all three, not worrying about where stats are and everything. We're just trying to get this done as painlessly as possible. The souls use their little ability thing. There's fancy stuff you can do with that if you, you know, you can run through them and make them damage themselves and stuff. You can be fancy, or you can just stand there and take the damage and just eat some extra food. So I finished killing those two spirits, and right back on the QBD. There's my uh, incendiary... No, was that incendiary? That was the threshold explodey one. There we go, ticking over into phase three. Hit the crystal. Only got the one grot worm. I'm ignoring it here at this point. It's not too huge of a deal like it used to be. So just gonna. I should really have not eaten and uh, gotten my adrenaline up as I noticed. And just checking if I can in fact brandish it. This happens to be the range weak phase, and I'm kind of ripping her a new one, so I don't want to be doing too much and accidentally kill her. So I'm kind of just holding back a little bit, or I, I realized at some place I kind of stop attacking her. And it's just a matter of waiting for her to say she, the Queen Black Dragon prefer, uh, prepares to breathe extremely hot breath. This time there'll be four souls, and occasionally you get a fifth one. When that fifth one pops up, you want to kill that as quick as possible. Just switch to it and just, uh, you know, hit it with rapid fire, dual shot. Just kill it. If you don't, you will get time stopped, which you'll not guarantee death, but it's probably about a 90% chance you'll die. That's really the only thing you have to worry about. And otherwise, just eat and keep eating, keep your health up, and wait for her to prepare to breathe her extremely hot breath. Prayer again. Another one of the time stop. And right there, she prepares to breathe the extremely hot breath. At that point, you'd want to click on your Royal Cross bow to brandish it. I can't actually do it to demonstrate because my bow was um, is already complete and not in the state to be re recharged. And here, I, this is what happens if you fail the time stop thing. But as soon as you see that extremely hot breath thing, just get ready to start clicking Brandish, and when she does it, it'll be forged, completed, and here I die, but it is what it is. That's how you get to the point. Uh, not for the time stop, honestly, at that point, it would have been pretty easy and straightforward just to kill her the rest of the way. She's really not as hard as she used to be, and so, yeah, good luck with that.